Hey guys, it's Sony Pop 195. Welcome to another episode of Random Wi-Fi. And it's been a while since I've made a Random Wi-Fi episode, so we're gonna kick it off with something new: Mario Tennis Ultra Smash Online. I don't really play this game too much, but I really like it. We're gonna be doing a serious match. Wait, I'm not ready. We're gonna do a serious match. We'll do Mega Battle. Mega Battles are pretty fun. And playtime, just uh, just this. That's typical. And I'm going to play as my best character, Rosalina. And my cat's down here. Yeah, I got a special guest, my cat. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to cut that out. And we are fighting Castleman the Toadette. Alright, let's... I just hit the camera. But my opinions on this game is... There's just not enough content. I mean, it's a great game. It's fun. But, there's just not too much to do. Like, they added in the Mega Battles, which, don't get me wrong, Mega Battles are really fun, that's why I decided to have that be the game mode that we play. But, aside from that, there's just not that much. And, oh, I did not mean to do that. Like, they could've had, like, a tourney mode, or a mini story mode, or something, but they didn't. Like, I know that the- Oh, that's his point. But, I know that the other Mario Tennis game, or the other one on the GameCube has a story mode, and, um, well, he he, mi he missed that pretty bad. Uh, uh, this game has the uh, knockout challenge, which, that's pretty fun. Like, once you get to r about round 30, the CPUs get really tough. Like, I'm telling you, they are tough. And there's achievements you can get in the game, but the game just lacks... A, there's a few things that could have just filled in a couple of the gaps that would have just made the game a lot better. And we're both mega. Double Mega is really fun. And I think that's my point. Where can he get it? He got it. Um, try to get him to taunt to get extra damage. Now, what's the scary thing is, is when you have the... When you get the Mega Shroom first, so then you're Mega first, but then they get a Mega Shroom, it's scary when you, yours runs out first and they're still Mega. It's like, oh no. <laughs> And got him. He's kind of just running around a little bit. And I took the first game. Nice. I'm not too big of a tennis guy, actually. Like, like there's like gym tennis, which I mean, there's some funny stories behind that. <laughs> okay, so I guess I could tell since we're playing a tennis game, I could tell some gym tennis stories, you know. So there were some funny things. So I was with some of my friends in gym from my freshman year of high school. I just got done with freshman year. I'm making it sound like I'm a lot older, but no, I'm, just, I'm, 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 I'm in the summer break currently. But, and we would all, and when it was time for the tennis time, like, because we would do like, you know, there'd be like hockey for about like a week or so, and then, wow, he totally missed that. And then like another game for about a week or so, but then when it got to tennis, it was funny as heck. Like, the, like, like, there was, like, it was a court. Like, there was a huge court, and then there was a fence, right? Try to picture this. It was, like, a huge fence. So the ball should never be able to go over. But somehow, we kept on hitting it over. And, don't get me wrong, the court was huge. Like, there was, like, about two, 12, like, tennis courts in this one huge area. By the way, BAM! Yeah! And we would always hit it over, so we would always have to walk to the gate, walk all the way around. And I think I just took the game. Yeah! Walk all the way around. And holy smokes, it was not fun. But it made for some funny moments, because one time, we just stand on two separate ends of the fence and just start hitting it to each other, like, not even playing like the game normally, just hit it to each other. And I took that first game. Nice. It was funny. And then we would just do other dumb stuff. Let's find next opponent. Like, I don't even know. Like, it was, it was, a, it was a couple weeks ago. I don't really remember. But it was funny. Oh, we found the next opponent. Probably the same guy. Yeah. All right, let's rematch this Toadette Castleman. All right, Castleman the Toadette. Let's go. All right, so we're already seven minutes in. I did not expect to be that far into the video. Actually, just came. We're not seven minutes in, except... Because it took a long time to get the match started up, so it's more like probably four minutes. And there's a little bit of lag, I have to admit. Like, I'm 
I'm pressing the thing and it takes a while to move, but that's fine. That's probably why you missed it. And that was my phone! With a group convo, of course, because group convos are so fun! Yeah, no, not really. Unless if you're one of the main talkers, but no. I'm not a main talker, I, I kind of just say something when something is funny and then, yeah, I just, and then they're like, and one, one time, I, like, he, one, someone in the group combo posted a picture of, like, the weekend weather, like, how hot it's going to be over the weekend, and I said, bring it on, and then he said, lol, lol, this dude just came in after not talking for a whole hour, and this guy's taking forever, hurry up. Why is it taking forever? Is he done? Is he done playing? Does he forfeit? Is he done? Alright, well... I think he's done. No, he's not done, okay. He's still playing. Give me the Mega Shroom, yeah! Alright. 1540, let's go. Toadette's actually another character that I really like. But then again, I just like Toadette as a character in herself. And, bang. Game Rosalita, yeah! But I just like Toadette's character in general just because she's not in too many games, but games she's in, I think she's a pretty cool character. Like, she's in a lot of the sports games, and then she's in uh, Mario DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, and her role is as the hotel keeper, and then, like, when you destroy her hotel and it becomes that spiral thing, her reaction, and she's just pretty funny, you know? Toad's sister. Wow, I am destroying this guy. Castleman, if you're watching, you're a very worthy opponent. But you're not too good when facing a mega. Alright, Castleman, if you're watching, uh, here's some uh, constructive criticism for you. Like, try to predict where the ball is going to go. This is for anybody. Like, always predict where the ball is going to go. Like, t people when playing this game typically alternate between left and right, left and right. Not always, like, for a good mix up, like, go the same way twice. Like, the CPUs pretty much just read wherever your, con like, whatever, whichever way your control stick is going, which is bull, but, <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be it, but just always try to predict where the ball's gonna go, like, don't chase it, like, don't, don't chase the ball, just, like, find out where it's gonna go, head back to the middle, and then you have, like, a little bit more time, but if it's a jump, one of those crazy jump shots, then you're screwed. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Random Wi-Fi, it's been a long time since I've made one of these videos and I don't even know what episode number I'm on so I'm gonna have to find the last time I uploaded a video to get the right episode number. I right, hope you all enjoyed this and peace out!